Hello, I am Raffle My Waffles, and welcome to my ladder tutorial. This should be a really basic and quick tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make ladders for both survivors and infected. Right now, all I have is a basic map. It's a dev map, orange and gray textures, and I have three props. A gutter prop, for a reference, this is the prop in case you want to use it. Gutter underscore pipe underscore 256. It's under the props rooftop. And here are my two ladders. I can't remember if these come with the game or not. I have a lot of custom models. But I'm just using two rung ladders. I believe Left 4 Dead 2 also has rung ladders. If these aren't the ones, they're ones that definitely look like this. So all I have is my basic survivor spawn, info player start, my four survivor positions, and my director. That's all you need to make a really basic map. And let's get started on how to make a ladder. Right now, it's just a prop. If you were to run into this in game, you would not climb up it. It would interact with you the same way a crate would interact with you or a wall would interact with you. In order to make it climbable, you need to select your block tool, your texture tool, browse, type in no draw in the filter. Select the first one on the top left. It should be tools no draw. That's the name of the texture. Then you select it. You select your prop, your ladder of choice, and in your top down viewport, it's the easiest way to do it, you simply draw over it with the no draw tool. Sometimes you give it a few units, sometimes I give it a little more, you know. Like, for example, if I feel like this ladder needs to make sure people climb it without issue, I might bump it out a little bit, make sure people can get on it without issue. Sometimes some props have a bounding box which will extend beyond their visible model. Like, for example, it could have like a collision model beyond this ladder lung that goes out to here. In the event that happens, that's why you'd bump out the ladder texture. So right now you should have a, a rectangular prism. It's all no draw texture. On the front, and only the front, for a survivor ladder. In the filter you type ladder. It's this orange one that says ladder, tools, invisible ladder. Double click it. You should now have it selected. Then just right click the face, the front face. So now this ladder is climbable only on the front and not on the sides. To ensure this, select it. Press Control T. This will turn it into a uh, brush entity. In the class, it's this search bar at the top here, type ladder and select Funk Ladder. Apply, boom, you have a working ladder. You can now climb this. Do the same with the second ladder. Repeat the process. No draw, highlight, find in top down viewport, draw over it. Connect it to the top. Make sure it connects to the top of whatever survivors should be getting to the top to. That way they don't get some weird bump or they don't get stuck. It's very important. Also connect it to the bottom. Helps the nav the best. It's very helpful for the nav generation if it connects to the top and bottom completely. Once you have the uh, ladder texture on the front, control T. Funk ladder. Enter. Apply. Boom, you have two ladders. These ladders are climbable by both survivors and infected. So anything that has this ladder texture and is a funk ladder can be climbed by both teams. If you want to make an infected only ladder, you repeat the similar process. No draw, select your prop, top down viewport. Now with ladders, even if the prop is narrower, you usually want to go at least 28 units wide. This way that the nav generates completely and things don't have trouble getting on it. If it's too narrow, sometimes that can cause an issue. Such as people falling off, or the ladder just not working, or not generating nav. So you should have a no draw block around it now. And then you go into the textures, browse, now type climb instead of ladder. And you select this one, tools slash climb. There's two other ones. I usually use tools slash climb. You can also use climb versus, but I'm just going to go with climb. Mm, actually, I'll go with versus climb. It doesn't really matter. I would just recommend versus climb. Either way, the survivors will not be able to see this texture. This will be completely invisible if you did the no draw on all sides and the climb versus on the front. Infected will be able to see this, though. So now this is technically climbable by infected, but you want to make sure it's a funk ladder. Regardless of which team has to use it, it should be a funk ladder. This helps the nav generate it on it properly, and they'll be able to recognize it as a ladder. 
Even if it isn't a funk ladder, you'll still be able to climb it, but the bots will have trouble recognizing it as a ladder, and it won't be appropriated to team. So now that's a funk ladder with an versus climb on the front of it. This is now infected only. If a survivor ran into this, it would just be a solid block. It'd be like a wall, except an invisible wall. The reason why I put a gutter prop under it is that survivors, uh, they don't just run into an invisible thing and they're like, huh, what's this? No, they're going to see the gutter and they're going to be like, okay, that's a solid thing. I can't run into that. That's why I usually use those things. Also, it looks less derpy when an infected climbs up it because then they're not climbing up a flat wall. They're actually climbing up a pipe or something. That's why you do that. So you save, run map. Now we're going to go over the nav real quick. All right, now that we're in game, there's no nav. So they'll just stand here. No zombies will spawn. If I run into my infected ladder, I cannot climb it. If I run into my survivor ladder, I can climb it. Okay. So I climb both up. I have two various stages. Generally, the way you'd want to use an infected ladder is you want to have it like be a shortcut. So instead of making the infected climb both these, you just have them able to skip straight to the top. This lets them catch up with survivors or get ahead of them, as well as set up an ambush in the front. It's also just more polite for infected players to be able to get around more because survivors are already overpowered. So let's make a nav real quick. Now, I've already covered how to make a nav in other tutorials, so I'm only going to cover what's necessary for making a ladder. If you want to see another tutorial, I have, I'll have link them in the description below. So, NAV underscore mark walkable. I generally do this on all major changes of elevation, even though it will usually work just fine if you only do it once. So with all those three, nav underscore generate. It's going to generate a real quick nav. Now the nav generate process should also automatically generate a ladder, but usually you have to fix the ladder because the it's not a perfect generation process. It's very derpy quite often. So now I have a nav, and you can already see that the ladders are broken. If your ladder nav is facing like this, well, you definitely need to delete it. Because <laughs> they'll try to climb up the side. So, open console, point it at the ladder. The cursor in the middle, that's tracking my mouse position, should turn green. That means there's a ladder there. Open console, nav underscore delete. Boom. Your ladder is now deleted. So you're like, huh, Raffle, now my things can't climb it. Wrong. You make a new ladder. It's really simple. One command. NAV underscore build underscore ladder. Boom. Your ladder is now on the front. This is a correctly built ladder, and they will try to climb the front. It is the only surface that is climbable if you made your ladder correctly as well. So if it's facing sideways, they would just be trying to run against this and be like, huh, I can't climb this, huh, I can't climb this. But they'll think they can eventually. So your ladder is built. Now let's check the other ladders. This ladder is backwards. <laughs> yeah. It's it's basically saying you can only climb it if you go to the other side of the ladder, which is impossible because there's a wall there. So once again, NAV underscore delete. And then NAV underscore build underscore ladder. Boom. It's now a working ladder. <coughs> this, the infected uh, survivors and infected still might not climb this correctly because it's pointing way out there at its connection. They still might, just like that. We have another ladder we need to fix, NAV underscore delete, and then NAV underscore build underscore ladder. Boom. So now all the ladders should be working. They should climb this, even though it's not quite optimized. With taller ladders, you generally want to optimize your ladder, or the bots will usually jump off and fall to their deaths. It's really funny, but still sad. So, uh, NAV underscore split. Boom. That cuts it. I, I covered this in my other tutorial, but I'll cover it again real quick. It cuts it based off where this little white line is that's also following my mouse, but running along the square. You see how it's changing the direction of the white line? That determines where the split's going to occur. It will split on either side, so now we have one there and one there. Once again, do it in front of the ladder. Usually you want to split it so that goes right in front of the ladder. It's very accurate. The bots will not try to climb the ladder until they get to this square, which is also right in front of the ladder. So they should just try to climb down. Or they'll jump off. It depends. See, this is a short enough thing that they felt they could jump off, but if it was taller, they would try to climb off. Oh. Split at the bottom. Repeat the process so it's accurate at the bottom. Boom. 
It's now sniper accuracy. So they should run right into front of the ladder and then climb up. Just like that. Repeat with any other ladder that's remaining in the map. It's a really quick process once you get it down. Split, split, and then the third split. Usually you only need three. Now this is a complicated one because it has two ladders connecting to it. This will cause a bug when you search for bug, when you try to troubleshoot it. So generally what you want to do is you want to cut it in half. And now that's cut in half, the ladders each have their own square. And from here, you can split it further, just like with the other ones. Boom. You need to do this for both survivor and infected ladders. Boom. So those, this ladder is now accurate. I should climb it properly. There we go. This ladder is now accurate. I should climb it properly. And the only thing, part that remains is this ladder. We must make it more accurate. This is the best way to keep your things from plummeting to their death while they try to climb the ladder. So they will not try to climb this ladder. If I go all the way down here, they jumped because it's short enough. Trust me. They jumped because that dark blue connection from there to there. But normally, they would not try to climb down it. <laughs> Stupid bots. All right. Yeah, these blue connections basically define... What are you guys doing? Weirdos. Hmm. Right, so... This thing down here, what this bot is trying to do, it's trying to climb this ladder because we haven't analyzed yet. In order to reassign the teams that are allowed to climb the ladder, we have to use nav underscore analyze. As you can see, on the ladder, it just says ladder number four. And on this ladder, it just says ladder number five. Normally it would mark what team it can climb it, so you just open console nav underscore analyze. This will reassign the teams that can climb the ladder, and it should fix the survivor bots trying to climb the infected ladders. So now, if we look at the ladder, it says team number four, team infected. If we look at this ladder, it says team unassigned. This means any team can climb it, while that means that only infected can climb it. It's a really simple process. Let's see. Really quick, I'm going to disconnect these two. I also cover how to what I'm doing right here in another nav tutorial, so make sure to check that out if you don't know what I'm doing here. But I'm disconnecting these to test whether or not the survivors will try to use the ladder. Hopefully they will not. So let's see. There we go. See, instead of jumping off, they're trying to climb all the way back down. And then they'll jump off there because those are still connected. So, I cannot climb this ladder. They cannot climb this ladder. See how they run off to try to go up those ladders. Takes them a second because bots are stupid. Generally, you can optimize the nav a little more to make this more accurate, but that's usually what can be expected of bots. So now, we spawn a tank. Get ready, tank! It should climb this ladder. There we go. And then if I spawn another tank, tank it can it. climb this ladder. And it will climb again. And now my team will die. And that's the end of the ladder tutorial. Hope that helped.